beginner mode is coming off. Alrighty guys, back in the garage. It is Saturday, about midday. We are just wrapping up the switches for the light bar on the 08 first thing this morning. I still haven't gotten to that since I left for vacation, so I got that finished here. Let me show you exactly what it looks like. So before I throw this panel back in the truck, this is exactly what the two switches look like. These are actually the first ones for the rock lights I already had on this truck, and then the second one is going to be for the light bar. You can see they just mount right from the back. That way all the wiring is tucked away, hidden back behind this, the steering wheel's right here. I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like when all the wiring's done and back in the truck, but just to give you an idea before I throw it back in. These switches are actually, I get them from Napa, I think advanced, uh, wherever, these are pretty generic, but these are the switches that I use for all of my installs for uh, anything electrical. They just simple on, off, lighted. They're green uh, because obviously all the rest of the lights in the truck are green so they make red and blue but these are the cleanest ones and these are the ones I use for everything. Just simple, clean, they match the lighting so I'll throw this back in the truck, get the wiring hooked up, show you guys and then we will unwrap all these boxes. Alright guys and that's a wrap on the switches. Everything is 100% done finally. You can kind of see a close-up installed. That's it. Let's go unbox some stuff. Alrighty. As you guys probably will find out, Blacked out fog lights. This is all stuff for the 05 front end conversion. So I'm doing pretty much, oh, I'm just screwing this stuff in here. I'm gonna put everything right back in the same boxes. So like I said before, I'm pretty much gonna be mimicking the look of my 08 outside, blacked out headlights, blacked out fog lights. I'm going back to a more all black theme on this truck for this season, so. I don't really drive this truck too much at nighttime, so again, <laughs> visibility is gonna be uh, slim to none, but that's okay for this truck. Because why would you have function over looks? I mean, who does that, seriously? So, those are the black fog lights. Box in a box. All of the boxes. Oh, okay, there. So here are the headlights. Like I said, same as uh, same as the 08. I'll take the plastic off for you guys to see. Pretty much just a stock headlight, all blacked out. Uh, a lot of people were asking me where I got this stuff. Everything is off of eBay. I'll be the first one to tell you that it is not the most high quality uh, stuff. A lot of times you get moisture and light uh, moisture and water sometimes in there. They do like a half-assed decent job of sealing around here. Pretty much what I end up doing is uh, take gasket maker, black gasket maker just like here, and I go around and reseal pretty much the entire thing before I put them in there. And I found that to actually help a lot of the issues. So if you are ordering headlights or whatever, building your own, uh, just make sure that the seal is really the most important thing. So. I'm gonna put these right back in there until we're ready to install them. The one thing that I will mention that I do not have yet and have not ordered yet, I'm still trying to uh, find some. OEM fenders is definitely something that I'm gonna be putting on the truck. I know like this, this, this grill stuff is not really that big of a deal. But as far as like fenders and stuff, you definitely want to try and get something OEM for big body parts like that. All right, there you go, 06 to 09 grill. Um, I do have to order 
emblems for this. But yeah, stock OEM ready to paint grill. I'm going to take out these inserts. It's plastic ready to be painted, so I'm actually going to give my paint guy a message and see what his schedule, see if it hopefully it's moved up so I can get this stuff to him to get back as soon as possible. Because I feel like springtime is coming very shortly and I don't want to have, not have the truck, want to have the truck done as soon as possible really. Very odd package job. Come on. Go to your home. So this is This is the grill support for the 06 to 09. Let me actually set up the different grills so you can see why you're gonna need this if you're thinking about doing this swap. So there's the 06 to 09 grill and grill support. You can kind of see how it has a real funky bend to around the edges, comes right up in the middle, kind of curves around. And over here is the 03 to 05 grill and grill support. You can kind of see this bend right here is a lot straighter. The middle looks the same, but it's really just the outside edges. Still bolts to the hood. Stepping over crap. Still bolts to the hood, the exact same location. So 03 to 09 are all the same hood applications, but the grill and the grill support. So if you're gonna change your grill, you're gonna do this swap. Long story short, you need this grill support. You can't just use the 03 to 05 grill support on the 06 to 09 grill. That's that. All right, and last but not least, this is like the weirdest box. I don't, when this showed up, I was like, what in the hell? I mean, I figured what it was, but it's like the weirdest way I've ever seen a bumper cover ship. Obviously, you can tell that's what it is. Maybe you can't. But it's the bumper cover. But, very odd packaging. In my opinion, for the way, if you're a UPS or FedEx driver, no offense to you, but the way shit gets tossed around, uh, I'm really hoping this thing is freaking screwed up. Sexy. Let's set it up over here for you guys. All right, so not really a whole lot to see. 06 to 09 Sport Laramie bumper cover. Uh, some of you guys might notice that like on some Laramie trucks, this whole section is chrome. Uh, it's like plastic chrome. That piece is a entirely separate bumper cover. So if you think that you can just uh, take that chrome section off and have the same look as this, uh, you are incorrect because once that chrome piece pops off from this, there's holes in the entire section right here. So even underneath that chrome Laramie bumper, uh, the entire bumper cover is actually uh, completely different. So you are, if you want it like the entirely painted look like my 08 has, you will need to buy an entirely separate bumper cover, which this bumper cover honestly is uh, around a hundred bucks. Not really a big deal if you wanted to get rid of that chrome piece, have the smooth look. Uh, the other piece that I don't have is this little chin spoiler that goes around. It's only like a, about an inch long. Let me actually show you on my 08 real quick. There you can kind of see exactly, it's only like a inch, inch and a half tall little chin spoiler on the bottom of that bumper. So I still need to order that 03 to 05's chin spoiler. I don't even know what it's, I mean chin spoiler, that's what I call it anyway. Um, is much bigger. It's probably around three to four, two to three inches. It's a lot bigger, so that won't transfer over as well. Uh, I couldn't find that specific piece on eBay. I know LMC sells it, but that piece individually, I think from LMC is like $100, which is like the same as the bumper cover. So that's why I'm gonna do a little bit more searching around. Hopefully I can find that somewhere else. I'm not really sure yet. 
But there you go, that's with the black headlights, black fog lights, black painted Laramie bumper looks like, black grill, black inserts. All right, so I'm actually just going to try and test fit this very roughly quick, just to make sure everything uh, lines up the way I think it's going to. All right, so initial test fit, and this is really going to help you guys if you guys are really if you're if you have a 03 to 05 and you really want that 06 to 09 front end look, this really might help you. So from what I looked at and what I saw, I originally thought that this bumper cover could just slide over the in existing SLT 03 to 05 uh, bumper support, which it does. It does fit with some um, pulling and some manipulating, but what I am finding is right here when you pull the bumper, you can kind of see how the bumper raises up a little bit. The fog lights, they do line up with this bumper very well, but you can see right here, it's actually pulling the bumper and it's not staying completely flat. And I believe that is because what you're trying to do is wrap this bumper cover. See if I can get some light in here. So you can see, here's the bumper cover and down here is where you're trying to get it over the SLT steel bumper section, which like I said, it does. It looks like you might be able to drill a hole there. It's very hard to tell without the fenders and the headlights in exactly what this is gonna look like if I leave it like this or uh, it just popped out from here. So what you're really trying to do I'm trying to hold the camera and do the same time There you go, you can see a little better. Here's the plastic section where this bumper rides over top of and here's the SLT steel if you grab the fog light and pull it It snaps over there, but you can see how that edge right here is bubbling up and it wants to try and make that a little wider than this. So, long story short, I think what I might do, I gotta look at LMC truck to check out that lower chin spoiler. I might actually just take a look and see what that 06 to 09 crash bar is going to run. I might end up just picking up one of those. This will work for a majority of the people, but if you're like super anal like me, and I'm not sure if it's the bumper cover or why that's riding up like that, but for me, that is definitely not gonna fly. I want it to look like this was an OEM job, so even those minor things are just gonna bother the crap out of me, so most likely we'll end up getting changed. Unless, what I really need to do is get some fenders on this thing, put the headlights in, and go from there. So I really need to try and find some fenders, test fit the fenders with this bumper, but I can automatically notice that might be a problem. So that's where we're at with the front end swap. I just wanna show you guys one more thing. All right guys, so last thing I want to show you guys in this video and something that came in while I was gone on vacation as well. Some of you guys probably already know what it is by looking at this box, but I am super excited the footage this is gonna bring to the channel. It's something that I've really wanted for the longest time, so let me show you guys this real quick and then we are, I'm not gonna lie, I am deathly afraid of this thing flying away, never seeing it again, crashing it. This is like a pretty expensive tool to use um, that really I think you guys are gonna enjoy that I'm gonna use a lot for uh, outdoor stuff when it finally starts to get nice outside. The weather right now, it's not bad, it's not super cold, but it's like really windy, so I honestly am sick and tired of doing these videos in the garage. I wanna be outside, I wanna like get both trucks going and really get these videos like super exciting for you instead of just being in this garage, which is not bad, I guess, but the wind just kills the audio quality. Even if you have a mic, uh, a windsock, 
all that crap. If it's really windy outside, it's still gonna make the audio sound like crap. So that's something I don't want to have happen in these videos. So um, anyway, rambling again, bear with that. Let me show you this. We're gonna go fly this thing and hopefully it doesn't fly away. So that's pretty much it. I got a couple extra batteries. This is a DJI Phantom 4 Pro. It's the newest updated one they just came out with with the really good camera. One last look. Let's go try not to lose this thing. See you very soon.